hi guys thank you so much for clicking on this video kalina kina millicent and this is my youtube channel on this channel i do all things mom life i do lifestyle vlogs and i share pieces and bits of me as an aspiring copywriter so on this video today i will be repacking baby's closet we'll be making shift of clothes putting in sizes that fit her currently she is four months old and now i'm switching her clothes to three and six months old because the newborn and the zero to three months do not fit her anymore i am trying to be a minimalist especially when it comes to baby clothes because babies grow up so fast and they don't need most of the clothes that we buy so i try to buy what i need and whatever that is missing i will just top up since baby was born i've only done one shopping trip simply because i did shop a bit before she was born i did go overboard with the pink but she's a girl so it doesn't hurt to wear a little pink every second day so um i thought i'll do a chit chat with you guys while you're watching me pick baby's clothes if you do have some laundry of your own definitely you can pull your basket and we can pack clothes together so um, initially i was buying baby clothes at Ackermann's, but i have discovered mr price kids and i am obsessed i'm loving the new range by Mr. Price. Firstly, it is quite affordable. Secondly, the style is amazing, so I really, really enjoy it. Um, all baby's new clothes, the three to six, I did buy them at Mr. Price Kids, and you'll also see in a few minutes some beeps that I bought from Woolworths because I really love the quality that they have. But now that I'm introducing solids, I'm looking for cheaper and less fancy beeps so that when baby messes them up it doesn't hurt my heart because i wouldn't have broken my bank for them so i'm just going through baby's clothes guys do let me know which stores you shop for your babies so that i can also try them out preferably stores that are affordable they're little on the cheap side because i don't believe in investing on baby clothes i think i'll start buying her like real good quality when she's a bit older when she's settled to a particular size but for now i'm going to be making cheap for as long as i can
I am going to attempt to pack all these baby clothes by size but I know that this will only be for today once we start getting into the groove of things I will definitely not be checking the sizes as long as the clothes that are in here I know that they fit her that is good for me it's just that today I am picking them by size because my mind will not let me just randomly pack a zero to three with the three to six but I know that the system is just for aesthetics it is definitely not gonna stick through but I'm gonna try to keep it for maybe two days if I can do it for two days maybe I'll do it for four and maybe six and then before you know it maybe it's a full-time habit <laughs> Those toiletries guys if you have been on this channel for a while these toiletries are the ones that i bought when i was about seven months pregnant so since i've had baby i've not bought any toiletries the only toiletries i buy every month are her diapers and i also buy formula i know formula is not cosmetics but yeah i buy formula and i buy pampers only but everything else is still from that collection so stockpiling is very i i would advise it i feel like it saves you money in the long run and you don't have to have a high budget monthly that's why i always say babies are not expensive it's our purchasing behavior that makes it seem like babies are expensive so all these toiletries were bought many many months ago and baby is almost four months Sorry, baby is almost four months and she is still going to be using them for quite a while.
longer fed baby so i'm going to pack away these clothes i'm gonna wait for my next baby or a niece or a nephew so we are moving right along into my next project which is me picking our hallway storage area so the products that you are seeing now i bought them last year when i started stockpiling no i'm lying this is my second patch of stockpile so i just went to clicks and topped up a few toiletries i usually go to stores where there is a promotion so there was a promotion at clicks that is why i went to clicks most of the time i go to checkers or to macro so i'm just going to be picking all these things trying to arrange them nicely i mostly buy toiletries and cosmetics because they're the ones that are expensive and they take away a chunk of money of my budget but once i've stockpiled on them i'm able to buy other things on a month to month basis usually i would take that money and we would go out with it or save some of it it depends on what the need for the month is but that is what i am doing do you guys also buy things in bulk or you guys just perhaps prefer buying things each and every month and how much do you spend um on your territories per month and if you are stockpiling how much do you budget for i know some people um put away a certain amount of money every month I unfortunately struggle with that method so what I do is just that I just take a chunk of money at once and I go by and that's it I'm not able to save small amounts because I have an instant gratification challenge but I'm working on it so I hope that I will improve and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and please watch until the very very end thank you so much guys for supporting me and I'll see you guys in my next upload